Hello everybody, I'm back uh, working on the little dress today. All I've done is I've put some little holes, four little holes on either side and I just got a scrap of paper and I measured it's about two inches and then I just marked at every half an inch and put a little dot on and then flipped it over flipped it over and did the same on that side. I, I would have liked to have put eyelets in but I can't get my eyelet um, thing in my bobby in there so we're just going to go with just a little <coughs> hole. Okay, so that's all I've done to that. I've grabbed my tool out because I want to make the base of the school out of the tool. Base of the skirt out of the tool, sorry. And I'm estimating this is six inches. That should give a good um, proportion for the skirt. By the time I've gathered up the top, it'll sit about that length, which looks about right for a dress. So the next thing I've got to do is gather up a lot of this and I'll just run a gathering stitch. Um, I may actually double it over and run a gathering stitch all along one edge of it. So that, that will be my base. I don't know how much of it I'll need. Um, I'll just have to keep going until I think I've got enough. I have some really pretty pink satin fabric here and I think this is off a house coat or a, a night dress or something uh, a little house coat it was I'm sure of that and I thought that's a really pretty color I've still got this beautiful cotton lace and I still have this pink one which isn't as pink once it's opened up and when it's over the cream I think it will be okay to go with that and the reason I the, what I'm actually going for is on the paper line I'm looking at the princesses that are on here and they're a little bit eclectic like if you look at this she's got some floral fabric then she's got beautiful lace and then a little bit more different laces up there and then she's got this bro brocade or something coming down the back there it's not just one straight fabric and I thought and even that one it's different panels of different fabric and that one's a little bit more um, oh even that it's got two like three different fabrics in it and I really like that idea so what I thought would I'll go I'll use this as my inspiration and just make it a little bit eclectic and I think that will work so what I'm thinking uh, so I'll start with making my base out of tulle. Now you can make your base out of anything. You can make it out of fabric, you can make it out of paper if you want. But I'm going to make mine out of tulle and like I said I can either gather it single layered or I can you know take off a large length of it and double it over. And I'm going to need and I'm going to leave it nice and stiff like that because I want it to poof the dress out a little bit not like a big ballerina kind of dress but just enough along the lines of these ladies in the paper collection so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back okay I have put two running gathering stitches along one edge and I did make it double thickness there's probably approximately three meters of tool here um, and I folded that in half now a meter is just it's bigger than a yard so probably three and a half yards <laughs> approximately and that's what I've used when I was sewing it I just pegged a couple of clips on one end just to add a bit of weight to it so that I could control the fabric nicely. Okay so let's hope this works and I put two rows of gathering stitch in because it always seems to look nicer. The gathering always seems nicer when there's two rows and then if one thread breaks you've got a backup thread as well. So, uh, 
Oops. So I was out this morning and then uh, when I got home, which was about lunchtime I guess, there was a package. It was my subscription to um, the fabulous French fabric finds. So that was nice. So of course I made coffee and opened that up. I still haven't had lunch but I'm not hungry so it's okay. I'll eat when I'm hungry I guess. <laughs> keep stopping and starting while you're crafting you don't seem to get much done you know it's the same with anything if you stop and start all the time you don't get much done do you okay I will just put that clip there to stop that from unraveling and we'll do a bit of gathering from the other end now I think so I hope this works I think it will And so I'm going to make the little dress and after I've made the little dress I'm going to just hang it somewhere so it can inspire me before I make the journal. I'm kind of putting off cutting into the paper. I love the paper. <laughs> um, but I did, I did order another one as well because I love it so much and there might be things on one side of the paper that I want to use but I want to use what's on the other side of the paper as well so hmm, that was rather extravagant but I'm really looking forward to using it so it'll be, it'll be fun. But I want to make another journal, just a one one journal, before that uh, using brighter colours than the actual princess paper collection. So that gives me time to think about it a little bit more as well and enjoy the paper pad before it's cut up. <laughs> okay, almost done. We need this fairly tightly gathered oh my goodness look at that but it will have fabric and that over the top of it which will weight it down more so I, I'll keep that in mind okay let's see now where are we a bit more That's that there, and that's that there, like that, and I don't want to snap it or anything, so what I'm going to do is tie those together. Oh, they're so long. I think I'll have to trim them a bit. They're too long. Okay. Okay. It's a bit easier. doing this again aren't we? <laughs> okay go that way a couple of times and that 
it should be all right. Like that. There's the other threads. That one. That one. Okay, so we have our threads there. Now, what I want to do is have it all coming through one side like that. that there will be going in there like that. See that? Neater than that of course. Um, and that will help hold the dress out like that. There, that's the opening. We don't want the opening at the front, probably at the back. So, because the back will be covered, well, they'll both be covered. They'll both be covered. So, I like that. Okay, like that. That pretty. Okay, and my idea, and it's only an idea at the moment, was to have the front um, I have not a lot of pink left. I have 20 inches, which is about half a metre of that left, and I have probably about the same, yes, about the same in that cream fabric as well. So I want to make the best use of those two. And what I thought I would do is gather that and have like a panel. going down the front like that and then another one like underneath it like that gathered just a little narrow one like that but I was also thinking what about having this um, I'm not sure how this will gather though because it's it's a bit heavier over the top there like that so that could come down a little bit more and that could go at the top there like that uh, it's hard for me to see till I do it um, I would have to kind of have that like that I think and then that up there like that like that I think and then that's just at the front and then this forming a it's not quite the right color is it it's not quite the right color it looks very peachy compared Ah. I'm not sure now. Um, well, what I'm first going to do is cut this one in half.
like that, and gather those two. Now, this will give me a better idea. And let's see what that looks like first, and gather that. And I might see if I have a. Oh, I love it, but I'm just thinking it might not be quite the right shade. Hmm. Okay, I'll see if I've got something a little bit more pinky rather than peachy. That's more blush and it might need a stronger colour. Okay. So I have put two lines of gathering stitch along this piece. The reason I like this piece is because it's already hemmed, <laughs> which is always a good thing. I have also gathered those two little pink pieces. I didn't go ahead and use this one just yet because I'm I'm just if I need it it's there but it may not be necessary I might use something else so I'm just going to go and gather this up uh, and see what that looks like first and then I'll be all right so I've just wrapped it around the little skirt there to give me the idea of what it will look like and I was thinking one of these I perhaps should have made one a bit longer than the other but I didn't so oh, well we'll go like that and I will stitch them at either side like that and then another one this one will go at the top there like that stitch to it as well and that will be kind of like that um, I know this is still quite dark compared to this but when, that's where the decorating of things this is only like the basic part of the skirt and then you can add flowers and other laces and you know things and hopefully that will help blend it into the top part there and of course the top part isn't finished yet either okay so what I'm going to do I was just having a little look at all the pieces and it wasn't going to work so I have my larger piece here it has its hem it has its gathering up the top there and then I've cut a another little front panel out that will in Kind of fit in there like that but before it goes in and I don't want this one gathering before it goes in I'm going to stitch the little gathered parts to the front of it and then attach this to the skirt I think that's the probably the best way because otherwise the the top layer would be fine without this but the bottom one needs something to be stitched to <laughs> so I'm putting a panel in the front so I'm just going to gather these two up and I did I changed these a little bit too instead of them both being the same length now I've cut a bit off the top one and added it to the bottom piece of lace there So that one needs to be stitched to there, like that there. And that there. So that one will be stitched to that um, across the top and down the sides. But it will need to be have this piece on before it's 
stitch down the side. You can see where I've added that little bit at the end there. It shouldn't be too noticeable once it's gathered up. So that one there, and that one there, and this will be stitched across there and down the sides first, then that one will be stitched across the top and down the sides over the top of this one. I mean, of course, you could just put some gathered lace on the front of a skirt, do the whole skirt, and just um, put some lace on the front of it, but I kind of wanted to insert mine. It, it's a way of me learning things, really. If I never do things like this, then I'll never learn. So I've got to try them. And like, you know, I, got, I didn't do it right with just the two pieces of lace, I need the panel. So I've learnt something there. Too many little threads and I can't find them. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. That one, okay. That one belongs at the back. Oh. oh, I wonder what that was. It's the cat on the windowsill. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sneaking around. Okay, so that's a bit too much gathered now. So just like, I put that there. And I might just pin that there, to be honest. it there like that and then pin it there and then I can readjust the gathers and stitch that on and then the same for that there that will be gathered over the top and that's the sort of and then we can insert this into there so let's just pin that one there as well uh, do it from that side I want to be stitching that from the bottom Okay, so we'll do the bottom one and then I'll do the top one. That was a little fiddly, but it's done. I have the bottom layer stitched on and the top layer. You can see there's a line of stitching there and a line of stitching there and down both sides. The top one was stitched over the bottom one. Now this needs to go on here. So that that's the right side, that's the right side. So those two, and I'll, I'll just clamp it from the bottom there. To the top, and then one in the middle. And that will be stitched down there.
I will make sure the gathering's all adjusted to fit around the bodice. These are all the threads, oh my goodness. Um, and then I will put that one over there and stitch that down there and then I will be back. Okay, that's all gathered up now. There's a lot of um, fraying, so I did do it a zigzag stitch across the top of the gathering there and also down the side seams inside. I will come back and trim all these oh excuse me hiccups um, all these threads off at the end. I just don't want to cut the wrong thing off right now until it's all in position. So now I need to know if it's going to fit. So we've got our skirt here a little under skirt and that has to go in that like that see like that and that's what the underneath looks like I hope it works I really do <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of work in this <laughs> and that I can't squeeze it too much at the moment because I've still got pins in all of that will go inside of here like that neatly of course um, and that that's kind of how it will look like that so I will have to I'll have to stitch that so that the ends are secure and then stitch it to the tool and I have to go and start getting dinner ready. This took a lot longer than I expected today. Um, and I'm thinking some beautiful laces from Crafty Me Shop. We had this one here with the beautiful scallops on it. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I might, um, I might stain some a little bit darker so that it goes in with this bodice piece and I'm thinking perhaps on the side something like that, like that and also there's this other beautiful one that's just turn it over use your imagination that that's all fitted on there's also this other gorgeous lace here from crafty me shop and I thought those pieces might work well on the back there like a bustle aren't they beautiful um, and I might stain a couple of those up too but I may intertwine them with a bit of this color so that it all blends in together at the end. So I'll have to cut some of this off and stain it up and dry it and everything and probably I don't know when I'll get back to this one maybe maybe this evening or maybe tomorrow. So that's it for today. I shall see you when I come Good morning everybody. I'm back. It is now Thursday so I didn't get back to this last night but I did um, stain up some of the laces that I said I was going to do and I've just got some ribbon for myself because before I joined this to the little bodice I need to thread some ribbon through. I would have liked this colour which is a bit darker but I don't have enough of that one but then I I found this pink ribbon here and that is from Michelle Hodge which I think it will do quite nicely. It, it goes with this lace here so I think I'll be using some of this. it up and we need a large needle to do this so, 
<laughs> it's not the needle, it's the ribbon. Uh, um, I wish, oh, there we go. Okay, it's just going to be a little struggle. So I want to leave a little tail. And I want to try and keep the um, ribbon as flat as I can while I'm doing it as well. So I'm going to go up through that one. And just manoeuvre it until it comes out. Oh, come on. There we go. And as it pulls down, you kind of want to make sure it's nice and flat. So it's going like that. Then I'm going to come up through this one. So going across. So we don't want to be taking that through yet, do we? Okay, so now I want to be coming up through the one next to it there. What I might do, just to make it a bit easier, is try and make the hole a little bit bigger and easier to see. Open it up a little, not too much though. Just so I can see. And this is why you can't have a large needle in here. Oh, where is it? You would think it would be really easy to see, but it's not. There, got it. Oh, goodness, that was a bit <laughs> harder than it should have been. Okay, Whew. that one's done. And then that one goes up to this hole, going in, and try and make it a bit bigger. Not that it made an awful lot of a difference, I don't think. I'm wondering if... Um, it might be easier to pull it out with a pair of pliers than trying to do it without. Okay, so... Alright, so that's two. Like that. And then back up through this hole here. Trying to make it so it's easy to see from the other side. Just pull that a bit. So those ones right in the middle there. They're a bit. Oh, there we go. That's easy. Okay, that one's a bit easier. Okay, and then down here into this one. So that's one side done, and now you have to come back up here, go in there, come back over here, go in there, come back over here, and go in there. So you've got them crossed at the back there, like that. Okay, like that. And I purposely got the ribbons on the inside because I will put a bow on top after everything else. I don't need to have this finishing there. I'll just tie that. And 
like that and trim those off like that so there's our back of our corset laced up now so now I can go ahead and glue the skirt this this one here in um, I've tied all the knots off quite nice and secure so I can go ahead and trim those threads off now okay put that over there So that goes in there like that. And that needs to be attached to there, which I will most likely put some large stitches in that, I'm thinking, rather than too much glue at the moment to hold it in position. We can try it before committing to it. So let me get some thread here. Just so that it's nice and strong and so that if I do need to take it out, I can see it. Start from the inside there, I think, and just like that. Like that. Like that. I hope you're seeing this. I think that's going to hold quite well. Mm. And that should fit in there quite nicely like that. Like that. I might need to just check this skirt see mm, the length of the tool see how it hangs down a bit at the bottom there uh, is that okay though it might be might be all right I wasn't planning on that but have to think of it hanging up, see, whether I want to be seeing that bit of tool at the bottom or not. Um, it doesn't look bad. <sighs> see how it just pokes out of the bottom? It doesn't look bad. If it annoys me too much, I can always trim it up later, I guess. Um, I don't, yeah. It doesn't look bad, so we'll leave it like that. Okay. Um,
turn that off now. There's one on that side. Like that. Now we need to have it hanging nicely before gluing it into the bodice part, like all the gathers how we want them. I mean a lot of the gathers will be covered but we still you know we need to try and get it looking half decent. Okay, so we want strong glue for this. Now you can either use your hot glue or uh, I'm going to use the Helmer Quick Dry. And we need to get it lined up nicely, like we want this point here in the centre here. So what I might do first is put the glue. Oh, this is always a bit of a fiddly bit, I think. So a good amount of glue. And I've only put it on the front at the moment so that I I can play a little bit. Squish it in a bit. Trying to hold everything how you had it, of course. I'm putting that in there like that. I'm trying to get that in the middle. Like that. Okay, so I wonder if I can, all right, I can get my finger in the center up here and pushing that against the glue to hold it nice and tight there. And I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to dry, quite making sure I've got it how I want it first. So leaving that to dry just a little bit and then I will come back and put glue under here and also then being able to push that into position. And that's a good job I sewed around the edges when I sewed the outskirt onto the tool rather than just, you know, in one big lump because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get my hand inside of it to press it so that's something to remember it's taking shape now okay so now we want to have some glue in here don't we so this time I think I will just stick the nozzle in there and put it on the top of the dress. And then put my hand under here again and press it to the corset. And that will give it a nice, strong bond. Okay, I don't know why my camera just turned off. It has a mind of its own sometimes. But that is, I'm just letting that dry a little bit now. A good time to 
check for any little threads or anything. Okay, so that's the inside of it. You can sort of see how I um, see there's a hole in the center there and that's where I could push that against the corset. Okay, so that's that. And now these, aren't they pretty? I've just coffee stained them. I love this piece. And when I saw that stained up, I thought, ah, oh, I could have used that on the front of the bodice instead of cutting this corset, but you know, it's done now, so that's okay. But I may be able to use a bit there, I'm thinking. Let's just, oh, is there another piece? I thought there was another. I've got that one. That would look lovely in a journal, just that scraggly piece. I've got that one, and there's another one over there, so I can spare one, I think. Uh, I might take that one, because this one's already a bit jagged around there, so whereas the other one looks a bit more perfect, doesn't it? And I'll just see what this looks like. And of course, all these laces are from Crafty Me Shop on Facebook. So that little bit there, I wonder if that might... I was thinking it might go there, like that maybe. It covers that bit of lace up at the top though, doesn't it? What about like that? Or I could just use that bit at the top. Where that heart is, I could put that instead. So I could have that there. That looks pretty. Okay. Okay. And a bow under it perhaps or something. That's something to think about. Okay. It's sometimes best to do around here and then you can coordinate the rest of it. Uh, so what were my thoughts on these? I'll put those to one side and then I had these beautiful pieces here that I've also stained up. The reason I've stained them is because this is quite dark and the paper line I'm being inspired by has touches of old gold and bronze and things like that and I just thought you know, with the lighter colours just to bring it back down. It might be nice to stain these up, so I'll just cut around there. was thinking maybe down the side there. Is that too low down? Maybe it needs to like that on one side. And that on the other side, like that. You know, like the, what were they, paneers or something almost? But not quite, they were the side pieces, but you know, it have that like that, and that like that. I 
have to hold it up, sorry, so I can get the idea. I quite like that. Because I, you know, they, gosh, when I showed you in the last video the ladies' dresses, you know, there were bits of different fabrics and things like that. So I quite like that. So I'm, that may go there. Uh, I wonder if I can pin that on for a moment. Like that. And... Like that. And then on the other side, here, I was thinking... got these lovely pieces here that could go on somehow I don't know exactly how just yet What's that? Oh, just a little oops don't want to pull that I can't even see in the camera to see what that looks like like that and then here's one that's not stained up you know that could go like that in the center but what I was thinking because it's very flat and I wanted it to poof out a little bit is perhaps put some tool under under that one maybe see uh, how can I do that okay I've got my trusty roll of tool here that comes in so handy look I'm getting through it um, if I was to just cut a length off like that um, just going to tie it in the middle like that. It's probably a bit long. And see so if you do something like that, that might be able to you know lift it out. See how that automatically gives it a little bit of dimension like I could do that there or, or, or I could do like I mean I would trim it I don't need to see the tool I'll cut a couple of inches off that So it's like that, and I could put it like that, and then like that, another piece, tie it, and put that. Under there like that. And then another one for the other one. And that will give it, it won't lay as flat then. And when they're glued, don't have them spread out like that. You kind of glue them so they're all tucked in underneath this and, and trimmed probably so that it's not that noticeable. Just to add, I think that will work. You see how that, it gives it some dimension there rather than laying 
all flat. And then uh, here, There's all these things that can be played with to decorate. There's the pink flowers. Oh, I should have coffee stained a couple of these up too. Oh, that's what I might do. I might just cut a couple off and do that. They might take a little bit of a while to dry. There's also this lovely, lovely one here that we may be able to use somewhere. There are the little flowers as well that can be used. There's also, now they're blue, but there's also, yes, I thought I had some pink ones. Oh, there. These that can be used around it. So what I will do to start with is glue these all on where I've shown you I'm going to put them and go ahead and coffee stain those yes and then of course there's around the top to be decorated which could be like I have this beautiful trim here um, that can be used but also this delicate one here as well that is it's so pretty that could be used around the top just like we did with the little slippers and put it around the edge of the slippers and these tiny little flowers on this trim here as well yes yes okay so I'll go ahead and do those things and then I'll come. I just wanted to show you I've glued the bits of tool knots on the back of these pieces and this is the centerpiece and I'm thinking it, it's like that at the back glued on but then I've knotted up another piece here with a, a small tail and I think I'll fold that over like that and glue that in the middle of it just to add a bit more dimension right in the center so it looks like that I just wanted to show you that all right I'm just placing some flowers on they're not all glued on I'm just playing around um, to see what things look like I've used I've used some of these lovely little flowers here Put one here and one over here I've used some little white flowers from this trim in between I've used this lovely embroidered trim here and I did just put a little bit of ink on it so it wasn't too bright and I've kind of trellised that down the front of her dress I'll see if I can tilt it without everything falling off so that's the effect I've got so far and it's kind of coming down the, oh and I put that little piece at the front there as well and I've got this little bit of ribbon here and it goes so nicely with this pink here it's different to the one that I put on the back and I thought I might just loop that around somehow and have that on the front here as well just draping down one side uh, that's pretty much what I've come up with so far I do have this that could maybe that could go like there I might take the green off though I think that is stitched on a little bit separate so I might just take the green off if I can find that thread okay that was holding the bead on but that's okay I might just secure that thread with a bit of glue I don't want it all coming undone so that there like that maybe that there like that that like that and that like that there 
I might have to ink that just a little bit. Let me just secure that thread at the back first so that doesn't come undone. Okay, like that. And this is wax paper anyway, so that's not going to stick too much on. I'm just dabbing that with my ink just so it's not so bright and I can have that there on the front and the ribbons of course and I will I use this on the little slippers so I will once again put some either that or I've got another one that's got gold in it oh I just turned my light on uh, that I was one of my little presents to myself what is that called it's a Finnebear effects paste and that's what it's like underneath um, very similar to the mercury glass but it's got a little bit of color in it which I think will go nicely with it I think it will I can always try it and this has got a little bit more dimension what is it golden dragon I got two of these I got that one and I got unicorn which is more like that which is really pretty so I could use both if I leave them there I might remember to use them <laughs> Otherwise, I'll end up using this as always. Okay, so that's where I'm up to. I'm still waiting for the other little flowers to dry. I'll probably go ahead and um, glue some on. I was looking at some little charms, thinking about that, but I can put those in a journal or something. I'm still playing, so I'll see you soon. The little flowers are now dry. Um, they're, they're not overly dark as you can see so I'm just going to cut one off the back here and uh, I honestly don't know if oh no they're fine I think you can just cut the thread and it will come off the ribbon without untangling the flower I hope <laughs> we'll find out won't we on there. Interesting to see how they're made though. Interesting. It will have glue behind it anyway. I thought I would put that there in the centre. Um, as you can see I've gone ahead and stuck the flowers and things on. It's looking quite pretty now. Um, I did end up putting a little bit of this lace down the bottom there I realized why it was annoying me when I put the front panel in I'd cut it straight across at the bottom and it's not curved like the rest of the skirt and that's that must have been what was annoying me so I've just cut a piece of this gorgeous lace here just so it's peeking out of the bottom there and that seems to help it flow a little bit more so I'll put that there I think that will be all right in the center there to help with the balance and I still haven't put the little ribbon on the side there yet so let's just put some glue on here and I'll, I'll make sure I put enough just in case I don't want the a flower coming apart or anything like that uh, any particular way okay so just under there and right in the center there 
And I think that finishes off the, whoops, that finishes off the front of it quite nicely. Yes, very pretty. And now we turn, uh, I've put this, I'm not going to put the little bits of glitter on and, and that until I'm finished. Otherwise I'll have to set it aside for quite some time and I, I want to continue and then I'll do all the glittery bits at one time and then I can just leave it to dry. So this is the back, how that turned out. I'm not sure if I told you yet. And it needs something here, of course, and a bow for our corset and I still need to put a little bit of something across there. I didn't go ahead and put that um, little braid on. I'm not sure whether I want to or not. I don't need it at the front. It could look pretty at the back. I'll see how I decorate this part here first. And I, I really, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, obviously it needs a pink bow in there, but that, uh, I'm just trying to think what to do. Back again, I have, I've taken out an applique piece from Crafty Me Shop. It had a, it had like, appliques I don't know which way it went now up there and up there and I've just cut some of the flowers off it to make a bit of a layered flower and sometimes if you want them to see how I've got that on an angle all you have to do for that is cut into the flower and just overlap it and glue it and you'll end up with a bit of a cup shape like that, which is what I wanted. Um, I'm whoops. Just trying to make a little flower for the back of this dress, so it will sit there like that. So what I thought was I could have that larger one there, and then that one there, uh, like that, like that, like that. I could put that one there. I've got this and I took this off a jewellery piece. It just seems the right colour. So it was a, a toss up between that or, or that one and I think that one's a little bit more striking and I thought I would put that in the centre. I'm not sure if I need that extra one there though. I think that's probably enough like that and like that to go there but before I glue that on I've tied a couple of bows I thought I would save you the pain of watching me tie bows <laughs> and they are going to be glued just there so that they will come out of the sides of the flower at the back there, like that. Yes, I think that will work. So we'll do that now. We're almost getting towards the end, which is really nice. I'll glue that one first. This one, directly underneath it, like that, so it's nice and full. pretty. Lots of bows. Um, then 
this one, how do I want that? Uh, like that, okay, so we could, what was that? That one can go just like that. And this is from Crafty Me Shop also. So I'm just covering the top of the bows there with that. Then I think that like that was it? I think I did. I might just glue this into the center of that first, I think. And I think I found I think my daughter bought that necklace for me years ago to cut up. Um, Jessica always liked to when she went past the, you know, the cheap jewellery places when they had the little sales on, she would often just pick up jewellery and buy it and bring it home because she knew that mum would cut it up, <laughs> which was really nice. Okay, so that like that and that like that. I just... Uh, just want to hold it up and have a look, I think, before everything dries too quickly. I think that might need to go a little bit higher up there, like that, like that, perhaps, I think, and then that can go there like that. Yes, that's it, that's it out there. Quite generous with this so that it sticks nicely. Especially on the upper side because as lace um, over time you know it will sag over if it's not secured at the top of it like that. Okay like that and then that's the side angle like that doesn't that look pretty and like that okay so that's the back done just let me move those out of the way and we've got that I still got to do the glittering I also have to put the straps on now before I put the straps on I have a rosette flower here I haven't used these for ages there was a time when there was, these were very, very popular to use um, when they came out and now I, I forget about them. But I do use them for things like this because you, you get your rosette, you fold it in half and you place it inside of the corset and it just finishes off the inside of your dress form. There we go, like that. See, I mean, you obviously you can still see the newspaper. You could finish that off all the way if you want, but I don't want to see this from the other side. So I need to glue that inside. Just try to think the best way to glue that in. I'll just put it around. I think I will. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made these. I think that's why I'm having so much fun. Um, there was a time when I made a lot of these and you know after a while you want to do something different and now just playing around with it it's quite a lot of fun. Okay so here we go, Let's see how we go. And as you push it in, of course, it's going to stick to the sides, which is nice. Like that. And you can trim anything up, of course, that you want to trim up. So, okay. Like that. So, we don't want to be seeing it. Although you, I don't mind that tiny little bit of tool showing there, that's quite pretty. Yeah, I might, that, that 
that's all right I can leave that okay so now I want oh that's what I was going to do as well I was going to I think put a couple of those just on the side there uh, depends what it looks like from the other side um, maybe into there maybe it's not necessary none of it's necessary is it <laughs> uh, I just felt like I've only used one on here but I you know I'm quite happy with the way because it all looks nice the way it's all joined up anyway so I don't need to hide anything like if you had to hide stuff that's oops that's when you would come oh, that's when you would come back and stick flowers over things and you know that sort of thing but I'm quite happy with how it is at the moment uh, a bit of glitter will also lift it up a bit as well now straps oh and the back piece here now for the back piece I was going to what was I going to do I was going to use some of this but I'm not sure how that will look because I don't have it anywhere else on the dress form but I do have it on the slippers see um, unless unless I incorporate just a little bit every so often that could work I could do that, just like, let me see, cut a bit of purple off and just every so often, you know, put a little bit in. That might look all right actually, and that way it's incorporated to the other side. You, just, you have to be careful because you don't want it unraveling on you uh, maybe I'll come back with a mm. let's have a look I could put a couple, not too many there. Whoa. Don't want to unravel it. Where's that? I've got a thread and I need to cut that thread, otherwise I'll catch it and it might unravel. Did I get it? No. There, got it. What's that? I could put that little bit there. And then one perhaps over here and then put some around the back. Okay, that might work. Quite generous with that glue. So, ooh, probably a bit too generous actually. There we go. just over here somewhere right up the top okay yes that will work okay mm. 
might be best just to put it on there. Let's see how that goes. There, yeah, how's that? Well, that worked out all right. And now I can use it around the back. <laughs> oh, that's the... Oh, no, don't fiddle, Jeanette. <laughs> okay, so we can have this. Like, and I can... Uh, I can probably just take that straight across. So we're having it to there. Beautiful trim. You can use these things on so many projects. It's just wonderful. And you can use a lot or you can just use a little. You know, it goes such a lot. Right, so I'm back and I think she's finished. I added ribbon at the front here. I put a little bit of the lighter pink ribbon in with it as well. Um, what else did I do? I made the strap and how I made that was just using the top edge of the pink lace that I'd cut off earlier and I glued the lovely little purple trim over the top of it like that and I did glue the trim across the back so what I'll do is I'll show you it up close I've added my stickles yes I forgot the other one and end up with stickles again um, in all the little flowers and a couple of pearls in some of them as well so I'll give you a close-up look to show you how it turned out. I'm quite pleased with it. I think it's lovely. I thoroughly enjoyed making this. I've just slipped this little um, gem in there that I showed you earlier. It's not actually glued there yet because I'm still thinking, do I want it there or not? And I'll see how it looks in the video when I'm putting it up and if I like it I'll glue it in there and little side pieces and our bottom piece so that's how the front looks and you know at a couple of stages I almost regretted putting the corset picture on her but now that she's finished I love the way it looks I just I'm really happy with it so um it just shows you, you know, it's it's never finished until it's finished and it, it can look a little bit awkward at stages in the creating process but um, at the end, you know, it usually turns out quite nice and that's the back. So there's the side, there's the side and that's the back like that and of course we have all our tool underneath and inside we have our rosette and so there we go she is finished and I'm very very happy I thoroughly enjoyed making her um, almost makes the little slippers look a little bit boring now because she's you know quite decorative but I really love them I think they're lovely and I hope you enjoyed the videos that I put up I know they're long but making things like this is a long process and you're actually getting the shortened version anyway so take care everybody and thank you so much for watching bye all right so i'm back and i think she's finished i added ribbon at the front here i put a little bit of the lighter pink ribbon in with it as well um what else did i do i made the strap and how I made that was just using the top edge of the pink lace that I'd cut off earlier and I glued the lovely little purple trim over the top of it like that and I did glue the trim across the back so what I'll do is 
I'll show you it up close I've added my stickles yes I forgot the other one and end up with stickles again um, in all the little flowers and a couple of pearls in some of them as well so I'll give you a close-up look to show you how it turned out I'm quite pleased with it I think it's lovely I thoroughly enjoyed making this I've just slipped this little um, gem in there that I showed you earlier. It's not actually glued there yet because I'm still thinking, do I want it there or not? Um, I'll see how it looks in the video when I'm putting it up and if I like it, I'll glue it in there. And little side pieces and our bottom piece. So that's how the front looks and, you know, at a couple of stages, I almost regretted putting the corset picture on her. But now that she's finished, I love the way it looks. I just, I'm really happy with it. So um, it just shows you, you know, it's it's never finished until it's finished. And it, it can look a little bit awkward at stages in the creating process. But um, at the end, you know, it usually turns out quite nice. And that's the back. So there's the side, there's the side, and that's the back like that. And of course we have all our tool underneath, and inside we have our rosette. And so there we go. She is finished, and I'm very, very happy. I thoroughly enjoyed making her. Um, almost makes the little slippers look a little bit boring now because she's, you know, Quite decorative but I really love them I think they're lovely and I hope you enjoyed the videos that I put up I know they're long but making things like this is a long process and you're actually getting the shortened version anyway so take care everybody and thank you so much for watching bye